Monkeybomb.com Hi, I'm Howie Gordon from Keybomb.com and I'm here to show you a power tip for using Digital Performer. When I'm working on a project, I often have to jump from place to place along the timeline very, very quickly. And here's how I do it. I use keyboard shortcuts. Now, before I show you that, three things that you probably are going to want to pay attention to. One, up here, we have the control window, which houses our counter. And in the counter display, we have bars and beats and ticks. Okay. Next to that, we also have an alternate display, and I have it set for real time, but we're not really going to look at that one. We're going to look at the one displaying measures, beats, and ticks. Okay. That's going to correspond to any timeline ruler that you have open in any other window. For instance, up top of the screen, we have the tracks window. Okay, and you'll note up here we have our ruler that has our measure numbers. Okay, bar one, two, three, four, and across. Down here we have our sequence editor window for doing more surgical editing, and it also has a ruler on the top showing a little bit more zoomed in view at this point. Bars, beats, and ticks. Now, both windows have a wiper that will show you exactly where you are and if I drag one back and forth you'll see that the other moves right along with it as does the counter display okay now you might want to jump say from bar 2 to bar 23 now I can go up here and double click and kinda scrub until I get to 23 and then oh I need to get to bar 80 so you know, move the window over here and go to bar 80 and double click. Forget that. That's a complete pain in the butt. Okay? Another way that you could do it is if you go over here to the counter and click it, you notice it's highlighted and then I can type in the bar I want. Say I want to go to 50 and all I have to do is just hit the enter key and I'm there. Okay? Um, but if you notice, it took me to bar 50 but wherever I had left the rest of the counter on beat 4 and tick 325 that's where it's going to send the wiper to okay so if I really want to go to bar 50 I can hit 50 and then click beat 1 and then hit 0 and hit enter and forget that too that's a complete nightmare and a waste of time and way too much mouse movement here's the simple and fast easy way to do it if you look at your number pad the decimal key Okay, which from here on out I'm going to refer to as dot, just because it's far fewer syllables. If I hit the dot, lo and behold, in the counter window, the measure number lights up. Now I could hit it again and cycle over to beats and ticks, but I really don't need to do that. All I have to do is hit it once to go to the measure number I want to go to. Let's say I want to go to 80, hit dot, 80, enter, bang, right there. And if you notice, right here and I'll scroll just a little to the left so you can see here we go wiper right on 80 let's say I want to go to 20 dot 20 enter here we go dot 35 enter if I want to go to bar 99 dot 99 enter bang bar 2 dot 2 enter that's it simple as that super fast super easy you don't even have to use the mouse for this alright that's my power tip for the day I use it all the time Enjoy, and if you have any questions, please visit my website at www.keybomb.com and send me an email. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.